Now this is one of the projects I think, why didn't I do this a long time ago? I got sick of going up into the attic and holding a flashlight or setting up a temporary light, so I decided to install an attic light switch. And I'm going to tap into this garage light that's right there on the ceiling. And if you're doing this in your house, you're going to just tap into any ceiling light. And as always, before you do anything electrical, go to the breaker and turn off the power so you don't fry yourself working on the wires. You'll need to pick up some Romex. This is standard house wire, and Romex is a brand name. You can see here it's 14.2. 14 is the gauge or the thickness of the wire, and 2 means how many wires is inside, not including the ground. So you have the black, the white, and the ground. And while you're there, pick up a pull chain lamp holder. This is what turns the light on and off. And you'll need one ceiling box. Then you'll need just a few wire staples and wire nuts. Start by removing your light fixture, whether it's a glass one or a dome one or something like this. Then you're going to hop up in the attic and feed the Romex wire through the ceiling box that's currently installed. This is where we're going to tap into. Pull about 8 inches of wire through the box, that way you have something to work with. You can fold up the excess or trim it if you need to. Now we're going to hammer in these metal staples to the beam so that the wire is nice and secure. Now there's codes for this, and I'll let you look up your specific building code, whatever area you're in, but generally you want to do it pretty close to the box. I think it's about 6 to 8 inches when it's coming out of a plastic box like this, and no more than I think 4.5 feet from staple to staple when it's running along. I'm going to do it a bit closer just to keep it nice and tight so that they don't get snagged on anything. Pick a good spot for your light. I put mine right in the middle of the attic. You can daisy chain these and add several lights if you want. But mine's small enough, I just need one in this space. And don't forget to add the last staple at least six inches to the box. This part's really simple, just strip the wires and add black to black, white to white, and ground to ground. Now this light will go on and off with the main light switch because it's being powered by the ceiling light. So this won't be on unless the main garage light is on, which I don't mind at all because it's a really simple way of doing it and this way I don't have to run wires all the way to a constant power source. Be sure to install it with the pull chain towards the side you're going to be pulling it from. You'll also need some eye screws and string. Last thing you need to do is attach a weight to the string. That'll give you something to pull. Also, it'll keep slack out of the string so you won't get caught on it. Put in a light bulb, turn on the breaker, and then you can test it out. I'm not in my attic all too often, but when I am, I'm very glad that I have this installed. If you guys do it or have any questions, leave some comments in the comment section. If you want to support me and my channel, you can send a small donation. It's always helpful, and you can do that by clicking the About tab, and there should be a support button there. Anyway, thanks guys, have an awesome day.